All right, so now we're getting into the muscles of the velum. And I think the easiest way of learning the muscles of the velum is to learn this illustration that I have here that has basically all the muscles we're going to talk about. One, two, three, four, five muscles of the velum. So to begin with, let's talk about the levator veli palatini. So once again, you're hearing the term levator and you hear the word palatini. That's soft palate. That's the palate. So the levator veli palatini, it originates up near the eustachian tube and it courses down into the body of the soft palate. And you can tell if this muscle contracts, it is going to elevate the soft palate. And so the, the levator veli palatini is the primary elevator of the soft palate. The next muscle we're going to talk about is also up here. It is the tensor veli palatini, and it runs from the eustachian tube down to the lateral portions of the velum. And the purpose of the tensor veli palatini is that it dilates the eustachian tube. It opens up the eustachian tube that allows fresh air to get from our nasopharynx into our middle ear. So it aerates the middle ear. So levator veli palatini elevates the soft palate. The tensor veli palatini dilates the eustachian tube. The next muscle we're going to talk about is the palatoglossus. And this was already mentioned in the muscles of the tongue section. But the palatoglossus is the muscle that runs from the tongue up to the soft palate. And you can see here that this muscle is going to do one of two things. It is either going to elevate the tongue or it is going to depress the velum. It's going to depress the soft palate. The palatoglossus is the anterior fascial pillars. So when you're looking in someone's mouth and you see the anterior fascial pillars, that band of tissue, that is the palatoglossus. And if you look past the anterior fascial pillars, you're going to see the posterior fascial pillars. And that is the palatopharyngus muscle. And that muscle is right here. And it runs from the soft palate down past the tongue to insert into the pharynx. So the palatopharyngus muscle is going to do one of two things. It's either going to elevate the pharynx or is going to pull down on the velum. And our last muscle of the velum we're going to talk about is the musculus uvula. So the musculus uvula here is illustrated in these blue striations on this image. And the musculus uvula is, you can think of it as being the intrinsic muscle of the uvula. It doesn't start somewhere else and reach into the uvula. It is within the uvula. And you can see that if these blue lines that I've illustrated, if this muscle decreases and shortens those blue lines, it is going to pull up on the uvula. And that uvula is that little piece of tissue that dangles in, your in the back of your throat. So the musculus uvula shortens the soft palate, raises the uvula. All right, now there are a lot of muscles of the pharynx, but we're only going to wor worry about three, and those are the pharyngeal constrictors, superior, middle, and inferior. And these are the muscles that constitute, that make up the walls of the pharynx. So starting here, over here, you see the superior pharyngeal constrictor, 
and that is the muscle that creates the superior pharyngeal walls. The middle pharyngeal constrictor creates the middle portion, the middle walls of the pharynx. And the inferior pharyngeal constrictor creates those walls of the hypopharynx, also known as the laryngopharynx. And the pharyngeal constrictors are important to accomplish the constriction of the pharynx that happens during the pharyngeal stage of the swallow. So this is the part of the swallow where the bolus comes off the back of the tongue and passes through the pharyngeal cavity over the airway into the esophagus.